Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. And today, it's Gary Grigsby's War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. We sit ensconced upon the Admiral's throne. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just making up stuff at this point. It is December 26, 1941. There has been some discussion in the comments, which I think is good discussion. Uh, otherwise, I probably wouldn't mention it, about moving more units up to Rabaul, uh, maybe over to Moresby, maybe over to Morocco. No, Morocco. No, gosh darn it. I actually looked this up on Google. It's Morocco. Morocco, I do believe. Um, moving units up this way. I really kind of like the idea of maybe moving some more units up to Rabaul. Um, because the Japanese just haven't been very aggressive. This AI is not being aggressive with us right now. Right now. Uh, we'll see. Once they take the Malayan Peninsula, they take Sumatra, uh, you know, once they've completely gotten the Philippines, they may end up down here sooner rather than later. We shall see. Now, the problem with Rabaul, of course, is supplying it. Once you get troops up here, that's all well and good, and we can try to, you know, uh, fend off the Japanese here with more units, but you've also got to be able to get some supply in there. Now, we've got 4,600, you know, approximately supply in here right now, um, so we got to kind of make a decision. It makes no sense to, like, just have this unit sit here forever and then just get destroyed. So we either need to get it out or we need to get more over to Rabaul and then try to set up. Now we're building on Milne Bay here and try to set up some kind of supply, you know, uh, depot system that where we get uh, supply out to Rabaul. We could also just go hell's bells here and go try to dump off like 20,000 in supply <laughs> out there uh, so that they could kind of withstand anything. Now, as you can see, if you look at the airfield here and the port, the Japanese have been bombing. The port's down to a three. They're kind of bombing their own port if they eventually take it. Um, but it also could keep us from getting supply up and in there. So as we get down here to Townsville, Sydney, Brisbane, we probably want to look and see, hey, can we get something more up here to Rabaul? Are there more units we could get over to Rabaul? Uh, I also had some armchair quarterbacks say, fly these units over to Buna. Uh, okay, I mean, we can. We can. You know, I mean, ultimately, they're going to get there and set up shop before the Japanese get there 90 99% likely, but it's not the worst idea in the world. So, uh, okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, it was this unit I'm going to send over there, right? Bekoi and Akoi. Uh, if you guys think we should fly them over, let's fly them over. We could also, uh, and we could use the patrol craft for this. Now, of course, uh, we've got some supply going out to lay there, but that's all right. We could, you know, get rid of that. Uh, also, the supply here at Buna, you know, that's flying out to Buna. How long is it going to take us to get there? Oh, that's right. I decided I was going to take them by transport. Uh, well, oh, let's think about this for a second. I've got that transport going back. Uh, we've got the mobile city here going around after okay that's gonna the mobile city oh that's right we decided this last time mobile city is going to take some supply around there we've got these guys though going back to townsville which is our transport the hugh the president coolidge old cool cow uh we've got the uh hugh l scott and the whipple Woo! <laughs> makes me think of the Charmin man mr whipple all right uh shit i don't know uh, fine let's fly him over you guys want to fly them over? Let's fly them over. Let's pick up troops, and we'll take over the Akoi and the B. That's the Akoi, right? Yep, we want to get them over there. All right, where are we going? Buna. Let's go to Buna. We'll troop transport them, uh, if you guys think that's a better idea. And then we'll do the same with these guys. Let's go troop transport. Uh, select destination, Buna. Cute little, you know, sweet little jump there over the mountains. Why not? Uh, and this one will be the B-Koi. So we got A-Koi and B-Koi going. Yep. Okay. There we go. There we go. Uh, now then, we had... Now this is 
going to fly some supply. Why don't we actually make this destination also Buna? All right. And then what's the, what's this crew up to? Oh, they're actually flying naval search. All right, all right. So now we're jumping over there. Uh, we'll see. What was the situation in lay? Uh, okay, it's okay on supply. I mean, I say okay, it's fine on supply. It's not great. Uh, and this is Salama <laughs> Salamawa. Yeah, Mua. Mua, yeah, something close to that. Uh, we should, you know, once we get these troops over over uh, to Buna, then we'll start flying supplies out. That's fine. Uh, we'll also decide what to do with these guys. Uh, you know, we got to make a decision quickly because that port's going to get closed down by Japanese bombing or whatever we send out here is going to get closed down by Japanese bombing, if you know what I mean. Um... Right. Okay. This is going up to Lay, so we don't need to do that little hop with the supply anyway, uh, really. We've got our DDs out here doing their biz. Uh, we got nothing in Cooktown, and we don't have anything up at Portland Roads. Now, we're sending this unit. I know we had kind of moved down here, but I'm going to do it again just to make sure. This is going to Cooktown. All right. Moving on to Cooktown. Um, this, I believe, is going to Portland Roads. Yes, it is. All right. So we got them on the move. Uh, moving down this this road system. The rail runs out right here. We got a little nub of rail, but that's it. Uh, Carnes, I do believe we talked about last time. Everybody's supposed to be here. We got 167 sick and sitting at Carnes. That's fine. We got some level bombers out here running about. We did all that last time. Let's go back into Townsville and check out Townsville again. And let's go to the units. I think everything at Townsville is supposed to be at Townsville at this point. Now, these are some of the troops we could potentially take out to Rabal if we really want to defend it. Uh, we could get something here moving out there. We've got some 27s, some tw uh, 26. Uh, we could get some armor out there in Rabal and show them we're really serious. Hey, I like to keep these at Townsville. It's far more important. If the Japanese take Rabal, ultimately, it's just not a huge deal. I mean, of course, you'd rather keep it, uh, but it's not going to change the arc of this war uh they will probably take it eventually no matter what we send out there or at least a good human player would uh ams we got the canberra the perth the adelaide they're all here to provide aa support we talked about that last time we've got the two ships in port two ap's now this is who would be used to carry units out here if that's you know if we decided to get frisky uh but i don't think so I don't think so. I don't think we're going to. We'll probably just pull these troops back or carry them back. We could either bring them down here to... I just wanted to say Gasmata. All right. Great name. Um, off of Townsville through Bowen. We actually have nothing in Bowen. Uh, it's a size one port. Okay. It could have up to a nine airfield if we really wanted it to. Uh, we may want to send something over there. I don't know. You just don't want to give them a free landing zone if the Japanese get so bold. I'm not too worried about it yet. They're not even at Rabal. Um, we got level bombers at Rockhampton. Good old Rockhampton. Um, okay. And a base force. Sounds good. Same problem. Well, let's make sure he's set to be there. Combat at target. I love to see at targets at this point of the game. Uh, Bundaberg, and thank you to Stanley, who sent me just an absolute treasure trove of information about Australia uh, for, you know, our eventual, my wife and I's eventual visit out to the land of Oz, and, you know, we probably will be looking down this eastern coast. Uh, she would love to see the Great Barrier Reef, get down there with some fishies, maybe see a dolphin, or who knows what what uh hopefully not jellyfish well no i hope the reef is doing well and if that's part of it and there needs to be jellyfish that's fine with me i just don't want one to sting me that's all and if you haven't watched it before speaking of uh aquatic life uh the the best documentary or the film that won best documentary this year for uh the oscars my octopus teacher if you have not seen that check that movie out it is really really well done and it'll give you a whole different perspective 
on uh, aquatic life. It's a really fantastic movie. I couldn't recommend it enough. Okay, back to the war. <laughs> Luckily, the Great Barrier Reef did not get hit by too many bombs or destroyed during the war. Uh, although it is bleaching, I understand, uh, for whole other different reasons. But let's not go down that road. Okay, uh, Brisbane. Lovely Brisbane. We've got level bombers out here. We've got ASW patrol. Okay, we've got ASW patrol. I like all that. Now here are our new A24 Banshees. Finally, finally we got the Banshees. Now look here though, average experience 32. Yikes, not good. Not good Americans. Um, 30. I mean, these guys are all going to have to train up. They, they're just going to have to. Now, what are we going to use them for is the question. Well, I'd really like to use them for naval attack. I mean, they're dive bombers, right? Um, you know, if you're not going to use them for straight up ground attacks, you're really going to want to use them for naval attacks. So it's, it's one of these two is how we would use them. Uh, so let's get these guys... Uh, all training up naval attack 100 oh yeah we got to take off the range don't forget to take off the range so they're not getting operational losses man it's nice to finally get some american uh you know production out here we just don't have a, hardly any uh that all of that drab olive green says the americans are coming the americans are coming uh transports we've got six of those here now they're their average experience is 30. Again, these are Americans. Uh, and then we've got one more Banshee uh, squadron out here. This has got six maintenance, 16, 14, 16. Excelente. Uh, love it. Love it. Uh, we're getting our, starting to get new equipment. Uh, we'll get that maximum range out. They probably should be running, I don't know, maybe 9,000 feet. Uh, let's get them on naval attack. Uh, okay, I like that. Naval attack, we'll get this down to 9,000. You may say, why 9,000? Well, that's just where I like to run my dive bombers. Uh, through trial and error over many, many seasons. Okay, uh, excellent. So we've got those here. We could continue to train them here. We could also fly them up. They might be more useful at a place like Townsville or Darwin. I think for now, we'll continue training them down here. Uh, now, they do not have any fighter cover here. We just do not have fighters, really, in Australia. Uh, and so that's part of the reason I wouldn't take them further north because we just don't have fighters up here. We've got, we're going to have some that come into Darwin out of the Dutch East Indies, but they're not here yet. Okay. So um, for now, I'm going to leave them at Brisbane where hopefully we've got you know, pretty decent AA. Now we do have those three ships up at Townsville, but I'm just kind of hiding these guys out here for now. All right, uh, we've got one ship in port. What might that be? That's the Nisqually, and the Nisqually is something that we converted. Um, they, and now it's off. It's, you know, it's off the uh, shipyard. It's ready to go. It's an AKE, a tender, a cargo ammunition tender, so that when we eventually start our offensives, we have some extra ammo about uh, as we storm an island. Uh, fuel, Moresby, that's what this is called out of Brisbane. Um, Brisbane has 35,000 in fuel right now. Okay. Let's dock it up. Let's load some fuel. Now, that's not their perfect uh, loadout, but you got to kind of go with the hand that you're dealt. We'll get some fuel up here to Moresby in case we want more ships to come in there for some reason. Uh, we may just, we're not going to put this on CS because eventually the Japanese are going to get there. And when they do, we don't want to have task forces like that going up to Port Moresby. Now you see the supply here at Brisbane's only 3737. This cargo task force could take up to 8700. Um well, we'll dock it. Uh we'll load some supply. We'll just go ahead and do it. I mean, Brisbane is going to get a decent amount of supply every time and we'll also run that up to Moresby. Now that is one that you could with five-point ships, run up to Rabal if we really wanted to make a stand. Uh, that would be one that you would take up there, I would think. Um, 
local mine sweep and we have an american sub the dolphin came in hey 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 we got american subs out here now well that's very interesting to say the least i think what i would like to do now this could lay mines all right it's also got more mark 14 torpedoes you see it's now been rearmed with those torpedoes uh this has really got no damage it just ran out of its endurance it, you know it has to come back sometime um we could run this around nomaya maybe not a bad idea we could run it around luganville potentially we could run it we could put it up here in rabal and these two could really start you know making a wolf pack up there uh and i think maybe that's what we would do i do i would love for this thing to get mines though um and i would love to first of all lay mines at rabal and then start talking about you know what it does next it's got nine torpedoes total on the loadout uh it's got no mines though this mark 10 mine let's go up to our stockpiles here he says as he looks up here and thinks about where we need to go to go see it um well we'll just i guess we'll do it the easy way and go to production which needs to, gosh i i hard i so uh, seldom get up here anymore we don't want to see the operations reports or the combat reports uh, auto convoy industry management bum, 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 bum. we don't really need that uh, we need to go to the info our uh, intelligence report right um i'm just kind of looking i guess we should look at the weather more overcast I don't really look at the weather. I'm just kind of looking around. Sorry, I got distracted. I get distracted easily sometimes. Uh, let's go look at our stockpile. Um, let's look at the pool here and see what's going on with the Mark 10 mine. Uh, do we have any in the pool? Here we go. Almost. There we go. Mark 10 mine. Uh, we do have some in the pool. Uh, use so far 88 okay one last turn or how many are being produced they produced 26 uh, this month we used one last turn all right so they're just getting up on production the build rate for a month is 40 of course we start, we started on december 8th so they're not going to put out a full 40 this month but yeah we got a lot of mark 10 mines that should start floating around um right so he should start he should get mines this time right i mean why wouldn't he uh we've got some in the pool uh so he should start getting them come on dolphin let's do it um let's actually let's go back let's dock him and uh maybe he'll get loaded up with mines we'll come back and look at him next time and try to get him up to rabal and then also what is this other sub that we have up here this is also an american sub the narwhal we've got on patrol out here so it's just running this little patrol uh trying to catch something in its net uh but we'll get the dolphin up there as well okay uh that's kind of brisbane i mean you know what else can we say oh does it have something else that's being repaired no okay um just curious just curious because i see the little anchor there that looks like you know when you have something that's actually converting but the nisqually is out now so okay uh and okay but it's just sitting there so i guess that's why it's showing us that in port okay got it D done um nothing to do with the nisqually of course now we've got this dang japanese sub out here we've got all kinds of anti-sub activity uh but that we just can't catch him for some reason uh newcastle it's got this big coastal defense that's pretty much what it's always going to have uh on to sydney we've got uh level bombers here at sydney 
they are doing ASW patrol. We've got another ASW patrol. We've got float planes doing AS, you know, a lot of ASW happening in and around here. He's training airfield attack. Now that's because these are the big B-17 D fortresses. We've just got them here because we don't necessarily have any place else to stuff them. We may as well just have them in Sydney. In Sydney, we've got a local mine sweep right now. And let's go look at the units in Sydney. It looks like they're all on target. 277 is the total ab here. Uh, the big boys are the 14th Australian and also the 5th Australian and the 6th or the 8th Australian, sorry. Uh, they've also got the big forts here. These have massive guns and any kind of task force that would try to get up near Sydney here is going to have to, to deal with those bad boys. Um, okay, so that's the units. What do we have left in port? We've got the Lillian Luckenbach, which is an AKE. We've got the four APs. All right, that's Sydney. There's not a whole lot to do there this time. I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming in and out of Sydney always, uh, but this time it seems like, you know, most of that stuff's already happened. We have these task forces trying to get in here. We also have all of this DD going on. And it uh, looks like this unit's coming back here. I think this is one that was used to supply Lord Howe. We'll go out there and check that next time. Um, what do we have here? We're at SAIL. Uh, what's happening at SAIL? We've got a unit or two units here, base force. They're both at target. They're supposed to be here. The 15th Australian with a 77 AV sitting down here at SAIL. Uh, question whether that's needed. I mean, we could probably send that somewhere else uh, because ultimately the Japanese land here, that's almost an impossible place for them to supply. And we should have plenty at Melbourne or Sydney if they jump off here. Uh, so we'll have to think about that 77th a little bit. Uh, we may move that around, or that 77 Ave, the 15th, we may move that around a bit. In at Melbourne. All right, we're in at Melbourne. Uh, we've got ASW and ASW going on. We've got a local minesweep, and we've got this little guy here, uh, Tanker Bernie. So we're taking fuel out to Bernie. Okay, well, let's dock this and oh it's on cs sorry okay so it is on cs out to bernie i was about to do that and then noticed wait a minute it's already done um all of these guys are good sitting at melbourne fourth australian one australian core now this is who we're changing everything to up in like moresby and places like that let's try how much does this cost to buy out um it's 112 points to get it off of here. Now, what's curious is all of the units underneath it are already out from that restriction. <laughs> so uh, we've got one Australian core. I think we're going to strategic move that, and we're going to try to take it all the way up here to Townsville. All right, because one Australian core, let's go up here, and I'm you know, 99% certain all of these are set to, well, now these are Australian Command. One Australian Corps, uh, Far East Command. One Australian Corps, Australia Command. One Australian. So all these ones that we bought out, and I did that on purpose, are one Australian Corps. We're going to send that headquarters up here for the headquarters bonus. Do, do, do. Uh, okay, so one Australian Corps will... Get the heck out of Melbourne. What are you doing way down there, gentlemen? We need you a little further to the north. Uh, so, okay, he's on strap move. Oh, we will set his destination at Port Moresby. Or his set future objective at Port Moresby. Okay, there we go. And we'll put one Australian Corps out there, or first Australian Corps, if it makes you angry, if I say one Australian Corps. Um, okay. Now then, let's look at Port C, the aptly named Port C, I would say. Uh, it's got a couple of units here, including a 74 AV, the 10th Australian Brigade. We've got a lot of Australian Brigades down here, uh, but that's okay. I mean, they've got to kind of protect, and we got to be a little historically accurate, right? Uh, the Australians were not going to send all their brigades out of Melbourne and just leave it essentially kind of unprotected, even though this is probably the last place in the world we were going to get attacked as the Australians. Um, but that's fine. 
we'll we'll keep as is. I don't really think there's anything to do here. Oh, let's go back to Melbourne. Nope, no ships in port. Just wanted to make sure. All right, then uh, we move around. We don't have a whole lot going on at Adelaide. Uh, some people may say there's never a whole lot going on in Adelaide. I don't know. I do know that Adelaide, don't they have that uh, kind of Toucan Sam looking character that's the uh, mascot for their uh, Australian rules football team? Uh, I believe that's Adel Adelaide. Gosh, what's their dang name? I don't remember now. Um, this guy is going to King's Coat. And so I just like to say King's Coat. Uh, so he's just going continuous supply from Adelaide to King's Coat. As you can see, Adelaide doesn't have a lot of stuff, but it's got enough. You know, it's got enough for its purposes here. We're all at target. None of these need to go elsewhere. Uh, they're where they're supposed to be, including Lar Largs Fort. What a name. Uh, that, you know, really kind of sums up what it is. Largs Fort. Uh, we do have these engineers out here. I mean, I, you know, we're building fortifications, but question whether we could send these. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to. Let's just do that. Oh, it's static. That's why we didn't move it. Good job, Cole. Um, Port Augusta. Okay, well, we've got some engineers out here as well. They're also static. All right. Seduna. We have a base force here. It... Um, is here because, and we've talked about this several times, but Seduna to Esperance is the short, you know, the only real way to get some aircraft from east to west if we needed to do that. Uh, Kalgoorlie, we'll look up there. Not a whole lot going on. Um, the base force is just sitting there. We already talked about Alice Springs. Uh, just got to make sure when they get in here, you get them moving. They get marching out across the outback uh, towards Darwin. This base force will always stay here. It's set for Alice Springs. And I think that does it for the Australians for the most part. But let's get down to Tasmania. Tasmanian Devil. Uh, AKLs, Bernie for out of Melbourne. It's a CS. All right. Yep. Bernie's looking good. It's got a decent amount of fuel here. Is that? No, this is for supplies. So it'll build up that supply. Good. Bernie needed a little supply. Looks good to me. No ships in port, no planes, nothing else to do. Uh, Lancaston, uh, same same idea. You know, we'll bring stuff in here from time to time. Uh, looks like this is dropping off fuel. I know that we have another task force that will probably bring supply. That's all good. What's happening in Hobart? Uh, you tell me. I, I don't know. We're defending Hobart to the death. Uh, 12th Australian Brigade down here with what had to be one of the best assignments of World War II. I'm just going to hang out on Tasmania in Hobart and do drills. Uh, we're over in Queenston. And over in Queenston, uh, we've got the Motor Battalion over here. Okay. I like the sound of that. Um, it is in combat at target, defend. It's got a 38 av. Not bad, not that bad. Not expecting a lot of action at Queenston, but you never know. Um, all right, we've got this task force coming in to Sydney. Where did this one go out to? Oh, Christchurch. That's why we name them. I'm like, oh, what the hell is this thing doing? Well, it's coming in out of Christchurch. We already dropped off once. We've got these uh, APs that also have a destroyer along with them. Uh, the Piri, I guess. Uh, oh, Transport Australia. Oh, I think we sent this over from the States, maybe? Uh, I mean, it's President Madison. It's also the Rochambeau which is also U.S. Navy. Okay, this is all U.S. Navy. We're sending into Sydney in case they needed more APs. Uh, we've got cargo. What is this cargo about? It's Cargo Australia. Well, hell yeah, it is. Uh, the Pope, it's got a, destroy, a destroyer, the Pope. Uh, he's the leading the way with a golden cross in front of him, uh, like the like the Ark of the Covenant uh, leading these uh, cargo ships in. Uh, where do we have them going? We just called this Cargo Australia Okay, uh, we'll figure out what to do with them when we come back here next time. Um, I don't, I'm not really sure you know, what their deal is uh, as of right now. Cargo Wellington going out to the Kiwis. Looks good. Uh, we looked at that one. Uh, we looked at that one. Okay, out on Lord Howe How Island. We actually have two base forces. Something's gone terribly wrong. Uh, are you remaining on station? No. Can I dock you? Yes. Can you load troops? Yeah. Now this is supposed to be going out to 
Norfolk. Uh, verify load. Yeah, okay. That works. Let's accept it. All right. And he's going to go over here to Norfolk. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, did I do that on purpose? Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe they just uh, had the two and dropped off there. And this is exactly what was supposed to happen with a French transport. I, I mean, if it is, hey, good job by me. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter much. We'll get it over here uh, eventually and unload the cargo once the uh, Launston uh, base force gets in at Norfolk. Uh, but let's look at the one that's actually going to stay here. Okay, that looks fine. We've got a lot of supply out here now. Lord Howe Island, we will be building fortifications, and it looks like we want to build up the airfield. Now, that's probably for a little skip here. If uh, aircraft can't make it all the way from Nomaya to Sydney, we can skip them down through Lord Howe. Pretty damn good idea, if you ask me. Uh, okay, so that's heading over to Norfolk. Uh, here comes cargo in. For, no, a tanker, the sudden Sun Admiral. Uh, and this is going back and forth to Suva with some fuel. I like the sound of that. That's excellent. Um, okay, well, let's just continue mo moving. Moving, moving, speak. All right, we've got this uh, destroyer group going around Nomaya. That looks fine to me. Let's make sure that... Yeah, it's the Alden Max React 2. That all looks good. Home base Nomaya. I like it. We've got this cargo group that's coming in. Oh, it's a tanker group, actually, that's coming in here to Nomaya. Wow, that's a lot of fuel for Nomaya. I mean, really, like, you know, how much fuel do they actually need? Uh, that that may be a little overkill. I'm going to take that off of CS. There's no need for that. We can take fuel other places. Uh, Nomaya, you do want to have fueled up. That's going to put it over 20,000. I, I think that's probably sufficient uh, for our purposes here. I do believe we're building everything at Nomaya. We want to get these as big as, and as bad as we can. We did bring in some uh, U.S. artillery, big artillery regiment here. Combat Nomaya. Of course, it's not going to show any assault strength, but it does its business by disruption. Uh, Okay, and we've also got the Australia, the cruiser Australia out here with massive anti-aircraft, 348. That's why it's here. We got a local mine sweep because I like to local mine sweep. Uh, we've got the Cumilia. Okay, that was cargo. Now, this is a good one to have for CS, right? It's got a little bit of capacity, not a whole lot. We also have the uh, mine sweep here, the Chevrolet. Uh, that could potentially go up to... Comac, but do we have one up here already? No, we don't. Okay, so the Chevrolet will go up to Comac. Let's do that so that we've got local mine sweeping in both locations. Uh, we'll put that there. We'll make your home base there, and you just sweep away, my friend. Sweep away. Um, excellent. Uh, we've also, we've got engineers out here, obviously, a lot of them, 12, these uh, Kiwi engineers going nuts. Oh, I guess that's the Kiwi. Did I say French? That was potentially Kiwi, that ship, right? Um, French. No, it is French. Okay, excellent. Uh, the Kiwis are a darker blue. Uh, oh, we're moving this guy up to uh, Comac. That's what's going on. It's this French unit is going to go up to Comac. We're also unloading. We unloaded a base force here at Comac. And we've got the uh, Chamont out here, which will make its way back to Brisbane. Let's see what they're building at Comac. We're doing fortifications. Perfect. All right. It could get up to a seven airfield. Let's go back to Nomaya and see. Uh, that can only get to a five. Uh, well, Interesting. Uh, I certainly would hate, but see, it's a zero right now, right? It's, it can do nothing. But I actually, hmm, does this base force have any engineers? Not really. We've got it. You know, there's some in the pool. Let's uh, let's throw replacements on this base force. Try to get some engineers in here. Um, yeah, this is a U.S. Army unit up here. Let's try to get. Uh, something going there and let's do the airfield just try to get it to a level one 
right? So we can fly things in here from time to time if we need to, uh, you know, no matter what that may be. So that all looks good. Uh, let's get back to Nomaya. Um, so we've looked through these ships that all look good. Then we have this unit that we're marching up to Comac on the northern end of the island. On it goes. Yes, we could take the transport up there, I guess. Uh, or we could bring this one down now that it's probably fully unloaded. Nope, it's not fully unloaded yet. Got 8% left. All right. Um, do we have any ships in port? Hopefully not. No, we're hopefully also going to get some planes up here. I know that there are American planes on the way. Uh, the Sun Admiral, yeah, we looked at that. Uh, there are planes on the way. We just haven't really seen them yet. Uh, I've, I think we did go back and look for some of that last time. I just can't remember. I think that those were the infantry units that we were talking about sending up here to the base at one of these bases. I can never remember. It's Lunga. It's Lunga. That's right. Okay. Uh, and we'll still see about that. We may put those troops out on uh, Nomaya. We could put them on Suva. Suva is a very, but really Suva is my number one out here. Uh, it's got, you know, a level three port. It's got a two building towards the seven airfield. It's got a lot going on between that and Nadi. You said Nadi. Uh, Afate. All right. We got a base force out here and we brought in some supply. I like it. Uh, excellent. This was set for uh, Afate. It's got no ships in port obviously no planes all right 50 what are we doing in afate we're building fortifications and we're trying to again just at least get a level one airfield i always like to have that it just gives you some flexibility in case things get hot and hairy um luganville yes luganville now we are let's start building forts and let's expand the airfield into a one let's do it come on we could also expand this port once we once we realize we can hold off the japanese here or we come to that conclusion we can start building that port up a little more we've got uh this cargo is in it is dropping off supply that's excellent uh, we also have this transport here, which was dropping off the 114th. I think that's the base force. It is. We also have the 131st field artillery out here. Excellent. Oh, excellent. I like all that. And finally, we have the Leander, which is, I believe, a Kiwi light cruiser. And it is. Leander has a 212 on the anti-air. Gotta love that. Nice job, Kiwis. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, we have a destroyer running around and about looking for Japanese sub activity with a max reactive two. That all looks perfect. Uh, we had already looked at all of these, I believe, but I will go back to Rabal just for a second. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm still going to make up my mind about that. I, I you know, I take people's uh, suggestions seriously. You know, uh, should we get more out there? Probably. They're just giving this to us, right? Um, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we still have Nauru Island out here. We just have some engineers. We should probably go get them, to be honest with you. Now, they have started to move south into Tarawa. Uh, we've got, what, two engineers in this group. Um, we have those five point transports. So that's two engineers. That's another two engineers. We could try to do a fast little run out here out of now were those in Brisbane, I want to say, or Townsville. I think it was Townsville, wasn't it? Were they in here? I think they were. Nope. That's a 12 point ship. Shoot. I hate when I forget, um, eight. Nope. Uh, maybe they were down here. Rockhampton? No, they wouldn't be there. They would be in Brisbane, Sydney, or Townsville. That's the Nisqually. All right, let's see if we've got any cheap ones here. Um, oh, shoot, that's a 12. I know we just saw some fives, guys. I'm sorry. 12... Tell you what, I'm going to pause this very quickly. Eh, nah, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh, he backs off of that pledge. Uh, I was going to. We're going to look for it. We're going to find it. We can do this. We're a team. Um, Rockhampton, Bundaberg. No, it wouldn't be any of those places. Potentially Carnes? 
Nope, it's not in Carnes. Maybe they were coming. Nope, there is the Hugh L. Scott, but that's like a 20 point ship. That's why I didn't want to bring it. Um, was it the guys that were returning? Maybe? From somewhere? Sometime? <laughs> I'll go back and look for this offline. I think we may go ahead and do this speed run out here and try to pick up those engineers. Uh, let's do it. That sounds like fun to me. It seems like something that would be interesting. Uh, let's run through uh, New Zealand really fast. We haven't been here in a while. Inver, Inver Cargill. Okay. Easy for me to say. Combat at target. Um, Dunedin. We've got combat at Target, Christchurch. Uh, what was that show? I watched some show on Netflix uh, that was uh, about Christchurch. It was actually a very good show. Uh, wow, we've got 152 strength here. Come on, Christchurch. I mean, really, if the Japanese are down here, we probably have bigger problems, to be honest with you. Uh, Greymouth uh, or Greymouth, if you're an American, uh, but Greymouth. I would suspect combat there. Okay. What's happening in Nelson? We have a base force. It's supposed to be in Nelson. Um, Blenheim. Hey, we've heard that name before. What's going on, Blenheim? We've got combat, defend, at target. Love it. Uh, Wellington. All right, Wellington. Combat, defend, at target. We got a 211 here. A lot of stuff here on the New Zealand command. Uh, a lot of this restricted out here, but uh, it's a good looking force. We may eventually move some of that. Level bombers, right. They're doing naval search and ASW patrol just the way we like it. Got a little ASW in there in case uh, the Japanese trying to get tricksy on us. We got a local mine sweep. Uh, the AG, Santa. Dorita is out here. It's an auxiliary ship. Nothing to do with those for now. Uh, Palmerston North. All right. I've never been to Palmerston North or South. So uh, there's a distinction without a difference for me. Uh, Palmerston's got a base force here. Okay. It's supposed to be at Palmerston. That's fine. Uh, Gisborne. Okay. I'm just going to move on. Uh, combat. Defend. At target. Out of Gisborne. Uh, Auckland, Auckland, Australia. Whoa, whoa. Now that's where everything's happening in New Zealand. Uh, maybe that's true in real life too. I don't know. Uh, level bomber, it's training ASW patrol. It's already over a 51. We're just going to do ASW patrol. How about that? It's got an extended radius of 14. So it's going to get out uh, seven hexes out of Auckland. I think we'll do like 330. How many planes do we have? 11. Okay. How about 330 to 30? Ah, you got to put a dang uh, range on it, my friend. There we go. Uh, not over land. Hold on. Um, let's actually crank that to 300 and then 60. Whoa. Uh, that's not going to, that wasn't quite what I wanted. Now, why would that be start? Uh, let's crank that back to a 50. Okay. Now nah, we got enough ships out there. Now, the, I guess the question is, is, you know, how much coverage do you want? I really want all of this coverage. But for this unit, we'll get something else down here later. Let's do actually then 240 to zero. See what that looks like. Yeah, there we go. Now we cover all of this here to the west. We probably need the exact same thing to the east, but we're going to guess that they would come down from the west here and try to get in between Auckland and Australia. Okay, uh, that's good. We got two ships in port. They're both AP. Hey, maybe I try not to mix and match. Like, are these. Um... These are Australian. So I ultimately would like to send Australian boats up here. And you may say, gosh, darn it, it doesn't matter. They're all allies. I'm just trying to be a little realistic about it. It would have been the Australians sending transports up here to take off Australian engineers. New Zealand wasn't going to send them out of Auckland. You know, that's just kind of absurd. Uh, but we do have these two sitting around. So we'll think about it. Um, 
I wanted to look at the garrison again. It's 148. I'm not sure if it makes a lot of sense to have... Well, I don't know. Wellington's pretty damn important, too. Uh, we'll just leave as is. Now, as you can see, a ton of fuel and a ton of supply here out of Auckland. We do need to get this running elsewhere. So we've got these transport guys. What are they doing here? All right. They're New Zealand transporters. They've got a good endurance. Um, you know what? I'm going to send these guys over to L.A. Uh, the Americans desperately need transport. Look at all of this ship activity out here. The Americans def desperately need transports. Uh, there's no reason it can't be Kiwi transports. Now, I know what I just said, uh, but that was kind of a specialized mission, right? I, I don't, I just don't like to be a too crazy a historical with that stuff uh but this is fine I, i've got no problem with this sending kiwis over to la to pick up american troops to come try to help kiwis i got no problem with that um let's go around tahiti with those we're gonna send them unescorted so let's kind of be a little judicious about that all right so that looks good local mine sweep we've got another Huh. our merchant carrier and we've got the light cruiser achilles and i said amphib nomaya so we did take something out here i should look now none of these have any other targets right okay that's the main new zealand command we have the seventh uh new zealand brigade we have the Auckland Regiment. We probably won't take them off of Auckland. We have the Haruki Battalion. I would love to, I should read up about all these. The Wakato, Wakato Battalion. And then we have some engineers. Okay. I think all of these are restricted, right? I think we already determined that. Yeah, they are. Uh, but we could buy some out. Okay. Well, we've got some other transports here. We'll think about it. This is Cargo New Zealand. This is coming out of Sydney. All right, thank you. We've got some American, we've got an American transport here that's just kind of sitting around. Should we put it in with these guys? They're speed 13, he's speed 15. Sure, okay. Uh, well, this was the Katoomba, the Katoomba. Oh, is this Australia? Oh, shit, this is Australia. I keep getting my greens mixed up. That is Australian. Um... Let's then, we'll leave it here for now. Um, although, he's got a okay endurance. Is that it, though, for his endurance? It is. So these really probably should go back and forth from Australia. We'll leave him here for now. Uh, we've got the Lorraine, or the Loran here. This is fuel Tahiti. Right, okay, so let's dock this. Let's load fuel so that we have this re, you know, refueling station out here at Tahiti. I really like that. So that's Suvo. There's Tahiti. And we're going to send this on a continuous supply mission. All right. CS Tahiti. Excellent. All right. Um, right. That all looks good. Dock, load fuel. Okay, now this is cargo Tahiti. So let's dock it, let's load supplies, and we'll do the exact darn thing. Out to Tahiti. Okay, and let's do that also as a continuous supply. Now they do need to replenish from the port. Yes, yes. Now, I have been having to hit this like three times to get it to replenish. Cargo Tahiti, mission speed, full refuel. I don't want it to refuel out there, no. And as a matter of fact, I don't want this one to refuel out there either. So let's do that. Do not refuel. You, though, should replenish task force from port. I don't know why it's not doing it. Well, let's hope it does it. Uh, if not, we got a problem. Uh, actually, though, I'll just put this on minimal refuel, so it'll take some of the fuel the other one drops off. But I think it should, before it leaves, uh, go ahead and um, refuel. Cargo, Pago, love it. Uh, let's dock it. Let's load supply. Let's go up to Pago, Pago. 
And there is the aforementioned Pago Pago, and we'll make this a CS as well, getting these all set up. And then we have Cargo Pago there as well. Uh, so that's 1,700 capacity each. This is 3,200. Why don't we make this fuel Pago? I know it's not ideal to have this ship running up there taking fuel, but that's okay. Um, dock, load fuel. Let's go to Pago Pago. This is called the Puerto Rican. This actually just came in from um, the Panama Canal. So that's running to Pago now. And we will set that on a CS. And hopefully we don't have to think about it again the entire dang game. Uh, and that really is Auckland. Okay, so let's go look at, yep, W-Town as they call it. Um, it's supposed to be here. That's supposed to be here. We're building forts and we're expanding the airfield in case something needs to try to get down here and can't quite make it to Auckland. All right, guys, I think for this time we're good. When we come back next time, we're going to start at Suva and we'll start moving to the east there. Suva and Pago, we'll go look at Tahiti. We'll probably go over to the Panama Canal. We'll look at some of what all this mess is out here, okay? And maybe even make it to Christmas Island as we continue our tour of the map. The day after Christmas, 1941, Dateline, doot, 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 doot. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Always a pleasure. Love this game, as you well know. Anyway, this has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. I'll talk to you next time. Have a good one.